I'm Jean Claude Vikonimana, instructor in Atapia Stigari. Uh, today I have prepared you a tutorial that we go through uh, operating surveying instrument. So basically today I'm going to see Toto Station. Toto Station is an EDM, electronic distance measurement instrument, which is used for data collection and the setting out. It does measure both vertical angle and the horizontal angle. So I would like first to go to instrument leveling, instrument orientation by both methods. I shall start by the first method, which is occupying point, resection, which is the second method, resection or free station. The, last po the, the second point we are going to see, it is data collection of about, we are going to take a sample of 100 meter and do the data collection of uh, load related data. So the last point will be staking out of a point. So I'm first going to start with introduction of the uh, total station components. The first part I have here is, total, is uh, this tripod. The tripod is a, a component of this uh, survey, total station which, from which the total station is going to stand. It has got, it has got the, tripod leg, the, the tripod legs, which are this one, you can stretch them out to the level that you want. It depends on the height of the user. So you stretch out you can stretch out the tripod legs to an angle which can help you know uh, the instrument to be stable. The second part, it is a reflector. This reflector stick, you can mount, mount, the, mount it. You can uh, just add each part of it to make it ready to be used like this. And then finally you can put this prism. Then you put the last one, which is this one, from which you put to the ground point. We are, we are going to take it. This prism, it is the one which is going to be interconnecting with this uh, total station equipment. It has got, it is uh, having some prism because it is going to re be reflecting the light going back to the instrument. And that is the basic of optics. I'm not going to go through in detail of the optics. So I'm going also to see, this is the total station. It is well covered. It is in the safe box. You carefully remove it. This is how the instrument is. Let me first bring it back to the box. It's a safe box. I, I first want to start with uh, putting the tripod to the control point. I have the control points here. This is ST5. And that is, this is STT1. And there, there is the STT2. Then, why do we need control point? This is the second point I've said here for instrument orientation. We shall need the known point to help us orienting this instrument. Let us first start with the first step, which is occupying a known point. I'm going to occupy the ST5. I take my So I, I loosen the screws here. 
then to help you not to help you to fit your that your eye is going to fit with the eyepiece instrument you are going to put this one at your chest you have to tighten it good you press the instrument approximately over the ground. That is the first step of leveling. I've started with the first point, which is leveling instrument. I look through here to see whether I'm on the ground point. I look through this central fixing screw to see whether I'm already plumbed with the ground point, which is ST5. Then I do what? I'm going to push these tripod legs firmly in the ground. You have to push firmly in the ground to stable, to make the instrument stable. You try to make this tripod plate approximately horizontal. This is okay. Then you have to walk around. The tripod leg to see all the faces, whether it is okay. This is safe. We can, I can now bring the instrument and the, put on the tripod. You're still holding the instrument. This is, this is called handle. You handle here. Good. Then you are going. You, don't, you are not going to let it and go. Because, please, this instrument is very expensive. You have to take care of it. So you are going to fix it with the central fixing screw. This is a central fixing screw. You are going to fix it to secure the instrument. That is the first thing you have to know. You secure it with the central fixing screw. Good. Now the instrument can go down, can fall down. Good. So. This is a display. Let me first go a bit with the component of this instrument. This is a, a display. It is a main part from which I'm going to be entering my commands. So here I have, this is the object lens. And there's a, the horizontal and the vertical slow motion. So then here it is I'm going to put my USB disk can put my USB disk here to download the data because this is automatically saving data. After I have collected all the necessary data, I have to put a USB flash disk here to, the, to use them in the office. Then I have also here a battery, a battery port. This is a battery port. It is where I'm going to put a battery, then it starts working. This is a battery of, it's a rechargeable battery of this instrument. You put it carefully in and you close it. So after you have put the instrument on the tripod, you are going to switch the instrument on. You press and hold this on bat button. You press and hold, then it starts, the, 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 the equipment starts. This type of instrument, it is a total station, but it is a type of TS-06. There, there are a lot of, there are a lot of kind of instrument. So I have put a code in. Not everyone can access it, it is like other equipment. I can put the password in to enter the, to access it. So it's okay. So now, as I'm leveling the instrument over the non point, there is a laser here. There is this primate laser, primate dot. I have to make sure that it is on the top of the ground point, this, on, on the top of this nail. So I move the two legs. Uh-huh, like this. I, I tighten, I, I, I also push the tripod legs in the ground. 
So since it is not exactly on the top of the tripod uh, on, of the ground point, I'm going to use these foot screws to bring it on the top. Now, the razor plummet or the re or razor dot of this instrument is on the top of this is on the top of this ground point. So this instrument also needs to be leveled. There is the bull, there's this bull eyes bubble. It has to be in the center to ensure that the instrument is not, is flat on this tripod. I have to adjust the tripod legs. I'm going to move, I see where the bull's eye bubble is falling. I'm going to adjust this tripod leg, this one. I push to that side. I come here also. Good. It's fine. I make sure that I tighten the tripod leg to secure the instrument. Like this. Since the, the, the bull's eye bubble is approximately in the center, I can use these foot screws, levering. The levering foot screws, I have three. Then the way to use them, I make this parallel to me and I, I fix these two one, the two foot, the two foot screws. So it is showing me the direction from which I go. You can see here, it is not showing yet. It is telling me, use these two foot screws and move in this direction. You can see here, then I go as it is telling me to go. Good, good. You see the bull's, the bull's eye bubble, it is moving. Good, it is telling me that the foot screws leveling are fine. So can you use please the third one, which is this one. It is telling me to go this way. And clockwise, I move it. I go back to this. The instrument itself, it is telling you what to do. You go like this. Uh-huh. Good, good. Now I go to the third leg. It is very sensitive. Now, can you see that the, all the three legs, this leg, this leg, and this leg are marked free? Then I can go on. It is like the instrument is, is telling me that it is okay. The revering step is okay. Then I can press this to go. Then, then, can you see that when I was praying with the, the tripod legs to adjust it, the distance, to make this platform leveled, I mean this uh, tripod of the instrument, the, the razor dot is no longer in the center. And the control point I need, it is the top of this one. So it means that I'm going to loosen, to loosen this central fixing screw, I loosen it, then I move the instrument on the top of the ground point. Now it is okay. You can see that the laser dot, it is on the top of the ground point. You have to come back a bit to adjust it also. This, this step seems to be time consuming, 
but it is an important part because if you rush and go collecting data before you make this step very well, you are going to be having the data or the measurement which are not accurate. Please make sure that make sure that there, there will be no pressure at this step. The accurate measurement starts with the good instrument setting out. Now it's OK. I can go on. Press OK. So the first step, of us, as I have said, it is by occupying point, occupying this known point. Then I'm going to cite another known point. 